It's the ayah that I quoted. Oh, you who believe, avoid suspicion for the love of God. If you have suspicions about a scholar's beliefs, either talk to them one on one. If not, then don't make judgments because it could be a sin what you're saying about them. Avoid suspicion. For surely suspicion can be a sin. And do not spy and do not backbite one another. Do you like to eat the dead flesh of your brother? Quran is telling me, don't backbite one another. You have an issue. And I always tell people, Wallah, that even I, when I give a majlis, I don't expect you to agree with everything I say. If you differ with me on something, I don't mind. Say Wallah, Sayyidina, on that point I differed. Why does it move from difference to hate? Difference to slander. The Quran said, avoid suspicion for it can be a sin. Don't back by one another. Do you like to eat the dead flesh of your own brother? Then it said, Wattaqullah. Be conscious of Allah in the discussions you are having. You have an issue with Ayatollah Khamenei, Ayatollah Sadiq Shirazi, Ayatollah Sistani. Be conscious of the words you're using when you're discussing personalities. Be conscious of the way you're talking about them. Forget using this insulting language towards different maraji and towards different ulama and towards different khutaba. Quran said, Taqullah, be conscious Allah is watching your conversation. Yes? Inna Allah kana but remember Allah is always welcoming to repentance for he's always merciful if you were amongst those who sat and said this person is CIA this person am I saying this person is not knowledgeable this one is Shirazi this one's this and today is or tonight is a night to do Tawbah on such a thing do Tawbah because the day of judgment is long if you've accused someone of something because of your box. And I always say, you know, the box of our opinion, this box, the parameters change every day. The moment you hear a new hadith, it changes and changes. And the one you thought you fit into that box changes. And that change, it'll keep changing. Wisdom is to never think the box will remain the same. It won't. You're going to keep learning and you're going to keep changing. That's number two. Number three, the third Quranic principle, that fitna akbaru min al qatl. Surah 2, verse 217. Fitna is worse than murder. You think murdering someone is, is a heinous act? Causing fitna between the Shia is even worse. Causing fitna because either doing it out of negligence or doing it because of a pay packet. Ask Allah for tawbah. Do not cause fitna because of a pay packet you're receiving to cause fitna. Because there are many envelopes flying around just to cause that fitna. Fitna is worse than murder. That's number three. Number four, wa'tasimu Quranic principle, wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarruqu. Hold on to the rope of Allah and do not disunite. Wallah, you want calls for Shia Sunni unity. First, unite your own Shia with one another. First, visit each other's centers. Learn from each other. And the area you differ with, just say, listen, Mawlana, that worldview or that opinion is something I differ with. Do not bring up your kids saying that mosque is full of animals, barbarians, extremists, who, because that is not the teachings of the Quran. Quran said, hold on to the rope of Allah. Who are the rope of Allah? The Quran and the Ahlul Bayt. I ask.